All right, we're at PAX uh, checking out Dandara, which is actually a game we've been following, uh, our community's been following on our forums, like, for, what? A couple like, of years. A couple of years now? Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, let's give it a go. Okay. This is the Switch version. Mm. Ooh. So the idea here is it's, uh, it's a, a jumpy, jumpy platformer. Is that a accurate way to... A jumpy platformer. Jumpy platformer. Well, because, you know, you're, you're always jumping between walls, so there's not... Yeah. Um, Which, uh... Ooh, what are you supposed to do here? Jared gets, Jared gets stumped 30 seconds inside of the first level. I figured it out, everyone. It's, uh... Cool because it actually works really well using analog sticks to kind of aim your your jumps and stuff. But you can see uh, when it's a touch, it it'll support touch on the Switch too. But when it's a touch only mobile game, uh, you'll be swiping and jumping, and it should make a lot of sense. Okay, try not to get killed by these spikes, which I just got killed by again twice. Oh wow, wow. Mm. So is this um. Is this demo, is this the start of the game now, or is this like a prepared PAX demo kind of thing? This is the start of the game. They'll be like, um, they'll be dressed up, of course, you know, in the real version, you know, the intro and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And uh, a little bit better of a tutorial, obviously. Mm -hmm. But yeah, but essentially what you're seeing here is the first world in Dandara. And it, if you were to play through the entire demo, which, I, which would take quite a, a little bit of time, uh, it would still only be a condensed version. Of the first world. Oh, cool. So I'm in a camp now. Yeah, the, de the demo's pretty beefy. The camp is where Dandara can rest. Oh, okay. And she can also craft. Whoa. So Dandara is the name of the main character? That is right. So yeah. Can, uh, She's loosely based on a historical figure really? uh, in Brazil. Interesting. And in this game, uh, she has been born into this world fully formed. And everyone in this world is uh, born into this world as an, adult. Adult, as an adult with a purpose, oh. a singular f uh, purpose. Hers is liberation. Yeah, it really does. This uh, game takes place in a world where there are two uh, factions that are, uh, you could say warring, but really it's, it's kind of more as oppressing one over the other. Mm -hmm. Dandar is here to balance things out. Oh. Okay, so can I shoot these guys? Damn. Uh, I also noticed, like, <clears throat> for the Switch version, there's, like, some heavy auto-aiming of your jumping. Yep. <laughs> Using it with the controller, you know, it takes a, a tiny bit of getting used to at first, but it's, you know, after a few minutes, mm -hmm. you can really start zipping around. Yeah. It does help that there's kind of a, an auto-aim feature, if you will. Yeah. Okay, or more like auto-assistance. Auto-assistance. Yeah, <laughs> is what it is. It's kind of neat though, like, so if I'm aiming off, my green arrow is going there, it'll make me go to the green arrow, mm -hmm. it won't let you jump somewhere you can't jump. Mm -hmm. Which makes sense, you'd oh, jump. Cool. You'd want to jump there anyway, so. <clears throat> Let's shoot some more people with you, my bad arrow. You gotta try arrow. really zipping along now, Jared. <clears throat> okay, okay, don't dare me, I <laughs> will. Like triple dog dare you. <laughs> triple hot dog dare? Mm -hmm. It does work though, like you just start jumping around and it takes you where you need to go. <clears throat> oh, pink one. I don't think I can go here yet. Let's go back. So this has like Oops. Metroidvania kind of aspects to it, right? Oh, 100%. Yeah. Oh, it is a Metroidvania oh, through and through. <clears throat> the interesting thing about it though, obviously, that you've noticed right away is that unlike every other Metroidvania where you're just you know, running to the left and running to the right and regular jumping. This uh, move mechanic and the way that the, the world rotates sets up quite a, quite a bit of uh, art. Yeah, there's no bottom. <laughs> there's no top and no bottom. <laughs> but it's definitely inspired by a lot of uh, classics in the genre. Ah, jeez, I keep getting zapped. It's neat, too, how the world kind of twirls and spins around you. Yeah, as if Metroidvanias weren't confusing enough. <laughs> Fun. I feel like 
Uh, got a treasure. Oh, I went inside a treasure chest. What's happening now? Ooh. So you've just collected a glass sphere. Mm -hmm. And what that does is, uh, if you're low on energy, actually, you kind of are right now. I am. <laughs> if, if you hit B, uh -huh. she'll use that glass sphere, and now you have an additional heart. What? How often can you use it? Um, you can only use it. Oh, you a collect yeah, a certain amount. Right, right now, you can only use it one time. Okay. Just the one that you have. But whenever you go back to a camp, it'll refill, including and your health will as well. Okay. I'm surprised how quickly you can jump through these levels. Okay. Yeah. So you've already got the angel. Yeah. This is rad. So what? Uh, when is this one coming out? I've heard different things. So our original aim was to get it out this summer. Mm -hmm. But we're developing it for pretty much every platform under the sun right now. Right, right, right. Uh, including both iOS and Android. Uh, so I think uh, for console and for PC, we're looking at December. We are developing the mobile version concurrently. Mm -hmm. So it's possible it also might come out in December. Uh, and if not, it won't be too far behind. Okay. Oh. Yeah, this, is, this is really awesome. So for the, the mobile version you would just touch where you want to jump basically or you swipe, swipe yeah you would swipe in that direction um, with uh, I believe oh gosh it's been a little bit since I played the mobile version uh, I want to say it's with your left thumb on the left region of the screen and then for shooting you use the right thumb by so it's like a uh, swiping and holding yes exactly I, I may be wrong on which side yeah. is which but that is how it works interesting cool well this is awesome so um, the premium game and all that stuff, real like what how long is a playthrough are you guys shooting right now? Oh think? man, I mean, just looking at people trying to go through this demo, it's probably taken up maybe like 40 minutes and it's condensed. So, yeah, when I think about it, the multiple worlds, all that stuff. Uh -huh. I'm probably looking at like uh, maybe around 10 hours. Oh. Yeah. Depends on how good you are, Metro games, I guess. Cool, well, thanks for having us. Oh, thank you.